Hello, and welcome to the video. So, lucky enough, uh, a couple weekends ago, my father-in-law offered to take us out on his boat to check out Sydney Spit, also known as Sydney Island, I think is the official name. But uh, yeah, this harbor, if you don't know the area, it's around 45 minutes from downtown Victoria, right by uh, where the BC Ferries uh, will drop you off from the mainland. And yeah, it was a, you know, it was a little bit of a cold day when we started out, about 15 degrees Celsius. And uh, the day before was really nice, so everyone was a little bit, uh, well, I won't say downbeat, we're a little bit disappointed with the weather, but thankfully by the time we got to the uh, Sydney Spit, it was uh, pretty nice out, which was awesome. But uh, anyways, uh, heading out on the boat here took us about uh, half an hour to get there, just puttering around. And if you don't have a boat, though, and you want to get here, there is a ferry. And I'll add details down below if you want to check out yourself. But I'll let you check out some of the scenery as we went to the island here. So we made it in one piece, and as you can see, the sun came out to play, which was awesome. So me and the boy started heading up the dock, because I wanted to get uh, show you guys where you can get here. So this is the main kind of moorage dock. If you have a boat, this is where you can tie up, or you can, you know, hit yourself in the water and come over here in a dinghy like a couple people did. I thought this moon dragon boat coming up here on the left was pretty cool. My son thought it looked like a pirate ship. Oops, sorry, I didn't mean to scare you. <laughs> Anyways, uh, right at the end here is where uh, you can see you can get on the ferry and uh, here I am taking my boy up there. Take a walk on this side. It does kind of look like a pirate ship, doesn't it? Where? Oh yeah. Well, I just wanted to show people that if you don't have a boat, you can still get to this place on this ferry. And we'll have to keep an eye. You tell me if you see the ferry later, because I'd like to get it on film if I can. So this is where people line up and they get on the ferry. See how they put all their stuff there? There's a nice, nice view over here. on the dock, you gotta be careful. And then watch this. So one thing to know if you're coming to this island, there is no food or any amenities whatsoever. Well, you know, there's a couple of porta potties, but uh, if you come here, you know, you got to pack your own food, your own water. Um, there is a campsite that you can book. I'll add details below through the, uh, not through the BC camping website, but I believe it is a Canadian campsite. Sorry for the sloppy camera work here, but there's the ferry that will take you back and forth. It runs... Uh, I think three times a day or four times a day, depending if it's a weekend or a weekday, but yeah. So there is uh, my father-in-law's dog. He's ready to get going, and we played on the beach for a little bit, and I didn't capture any of that because I wanted to spend some time with the fam. But after playing around for a little bit, I did get a chance to uh, go for a quick walk on my own here. And you can see you get off the on-ramp of the moors dock here, and there's some picnic tables. You can have a nice lunch. And here's the path that takes you up to the campsite where there's a number of uh, camping sites. I think there's like around 15 and a group site you can book. But it's kind of cool, right? Because you have uh, the beach, but uh, just off the beach are the typical Pacific uh, Northwest um, kind of forest 
you can go explore into and it's kind of nice having the uh, forest to walk in and also the beach on the side there too. Along the path, there's some nice uh, benches and stuff you can sit on and get a nice view like this of the uh, ocean. So it's a really, really peaceful area. And you can see here a quick little map of the area. So I'd walked about a kilometer to get to this point. And you can see the campsites are in. So that's why you have those wheelbarrows at the moors area. Because it is a bit of a hike to carry all your stuff to the campground. So I'd recommend camping light unless you're swollen like the <laughs> wheel a ton of crap. But yeah, I thought this was cool too. Because in the middle of the, the island there's a kind of a clearing area there. And here we're getting to the campsite area. I didn't really want to film it too in depth as there was people there and didn't want to interrupt what they were doing but you'll see the to the side there there's some uh, campsites there and porta potty and and yeah it's not a bad campsite at all because check out the view you get if you stay here and it was uh just magical kind of walking out here and and seeing this uh what really struck me about it was just the, the nature of it all there wasn't really a lot of man-made stuff like you got the uh, dock there but really you look out and all you can see is kind of trees water and islands and it was just you know living in the city not that victoria is that big of a city but uh you don't really get views like this that often that are just nothing but uh, nature and it, it took a second to to draw it all in So it was getting near 3 o'clock and why that was important is um, at the moorage area you're allowed to park there for free but if you uh, keep your boat there after uh, 3 o'clock they will uh, bill you for staying there for the night. Now it's not terribly expensive I think it was like 2 bucks per how long you're you know for, per foot of your boat or whatever so it was at uh, hideous expense but we wanted to get out of there before getting uh, dinged on that also. As you can see in the background, it was starting to look a little dark, and you could hear the wind picking up too. But uh, I wanted to show my ugly feet here because one thing in Victoria, there is not too many beaches I find that are as sandy as this one on Sydney Spit. It is like a Hawaii-ish like beach, maybe not as warm, and the uh, water definitely isn't as warm as Hawaii. But I got the 
I kind of get that feeling walking on the beach here in bare feet and not, well, I did stub my toe on <laughs> one of those barnacle rocks. It's still a, a little uh, sore even a week or so later, but... Uh, yeah, anyways, it, I, I, I had a lot of fun, and I we, I really like coming to this beach now and then, and I think if you're a tourist, it's not too difficult to get out to. Uh, like I said, you got to find your way to Sydney somehow, either on a bus or drive out there, but uh, it's a pretty easy drive, and you can catch a ride on the uh, ferry. I'll, I'll put details for it below, like I said before, and I think it's like 20 buck round trip to get here and back on the ferry. Definitely worth that, I think, if you're in the area. It's... it's uh, it's one of the nicer areas uh, in the Victoria region. I think it's actually the Gulf Islands it's classified, but I kind of call it all, it seems like all Victoria-ish based. Anyways, uh, I was trying to book it back pretty fast because well, not only the it was looking a little uh, dark in the background there, but uh, yeah, I get back in time so we didn't get dinged on those mortgage fees and uh, yeah. One other thing is it's a great little area to beachcomb. That's what me and my son were doing with our, uh, my father-in-law for a little bit when uh, we were hanging out. But you can see there's lots of shells, lots of uh, animals uh, like uh, crabs and uh, little things like that to, to pick up that uh, will keep your kiddos quite entertained if you bring them out here. Lots of cool rocks. And the water, while not warm today, is uh, not insufferable either. Uh, moving around these trees... I wasn't uh, dying, but you can see I get in and out of the water pretty quickly here. Well, I hope you enjoyed the uh, little tour I put together here for uh, Sydney Spit. We made it back home okay, even though the weather was looking a little windy and dark over there. The ride back was, was just fine, so we booked it out, got back home, and uh, it was a day well spent with the family. And I highly, like I said, I highly recommend checking it out if you're local to the area or you're just stopping by. Definitely uh, consider uh, going to uh, Sydney Spit or Sydney Island. It's, uh, it's a little... You know, I won't say tropical paradise, but it is a little piece of paradise in the area and uh, well worth checking out.